Hello. Hi. For Jackie, right? Yeah. How are you? Yeah, you're like a white guy. What's that? Are you like a, a white guy? Excuse me? Are you like a normal guy? Like you speak English? Sorry. Sorry. No, you can get out of the car. The video you just watched featured a Lyft driver by the name of James Bode, uh, who did not take kindly to the passenger who was surprised to see that he was a white guy. But that's only part of what happens. It actually gets crazier when the woman's boyfriend gets involved. Let's watch. Like you speak English? Sorry, sorry. No, you can get out of the car. I'm not going to a ride. That's inappropriate. What? It's completely inappropriate. If somebody was not white sitting in the seat, what would be the difference? Are you serious? She said, wow, you're a white guy. That's okay. I'm not going to take the ride. You guys can get out. Really? Yeah. Completely inappropriate. Oh, you're it's all on you're camera, man. It's all on I camera. Punch you in the face. Oh you're going to threaten God. me. Yeah. It's all. Threat, yeah. Wow. Because you guys are racist. You're a Yeah. Oh. No, no, I'm calling the cops on you, man. Oh, hey. It's all on camera. It's all on camera. Do you guys own the place? Is it your place? That's great. Everyone's going to know. Fossil's last stand for black people, right? And he did, in fact, report this to the police and posted the video on Facebook where it has since gone viral. Uh, police confirmed that the woman in the video is Jackie Harford, who owns Fossil's Last Stand, a bar in Pennsylvania. You could hear uh, Bode specifically mentioning it in the video as well. Um, and the man in the video has been identified as, as Harford's boyfriend and co owner of the bar, but his name has not been released. Um, and so, I really like that story because it's so rare to say. I mean, in terms of like the news, right? I'm sure this kind of stuff does happen regularly. But in the news, it's rare to see a white male stand up for the right reasons, right? And to stand up against racists. And these people do exist, there's plenty of them. And look, that could have devolved into something far worse, right? What if those two decided to start assaulting him? But he was brave. He stood like, stood up to them and kicked them out of the car, reported them to the authorities, and I love that. Just early in the show, as I was raging against right wingers, I told you guys, do not make any assumptions. And we've said this a million times on the show about based on race, right? Because there's tons of left wingers who are white and who are wonderful people, and probably the majority of the left wing is white, and so and they're wonderful people like that. And Anna's right, they're all over the country, but you don't often see them in the news, mm -hmm. right? And so we see them a lot because you guys are our audience. Every race, every background is in our audience. And so, but it's great to see it happen in real life and, and somebody stand up. But guys, so you, you'll see an interaction like that. And if the guy hadn't said the last thing, and it, you might not have heard it, so I want to make it clear to you guys what the, the boyfriend said. A lot of the right wing be like, oh, what's the big deal, man? He got carried away, it's his fault, blah, 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 because they love defending stuff like that. At the end, the boyfriend called the guy an end lover, mm -hmm. the full uh, phrase, okay? Oh, gee, I wonder if they were racist or not racist. That comes out of your mouth? <laughs> Obviously, they were racist all along. Yeah, so let's talk about Fossil's Last Stand. That's the bar in Pennsylvania that's owned by those two passengers who got kicked out of the car. And those two racists. Those two racists, yes. Now, apparently, it's known for its questionable clientele and the environment that they foster. So, a review of the bar from three years ago says this. An okay biker bar, I guess, although staff was complacent to the hostile environment directed at minorities. Sideways comments by hostile patrons were ignored and disregarded by others. There was a bad vibe in the air. Um, another review says racism earns you one star. <laughs> so <laughs> these guys are not subtle. Yeah, uh, there's more. Um, if I wanted to eat mediocre food made by mediocre racists in a mediocre racist sundown town, I would have stayed in Sp uh, Spokane, Washington. Food is awful, owners are even worse. Uh, yeet this culinary herpes uh, sore into the sun. I don't know what yeet means in this context, but. 
Okay, yeah, neither do I. <laughs> okay, boomers. Oh, to uh, throw. Yeah. Okay, all right, we throw it away apparently. All right, uh, I, I almost wish we saved like that, that last sentence so that you could have all the right wing go, oh, he said, oh, yeah, it's not racism, it's not racism. Maybe he just wanted to, to, you know, didn't want the white Uber drivers being replaced by immigrants, right? And then, of course, when he says, and lover, you know, you know. And apparently, almost every customer that went in there knew. I mean, yeah. that's how brazen and obvious they were. But all Republicans will say, there's no racism in the country. I don't know what you're talking about. And by the way, James Bode also, um, I don't like, a, he's getting some sort of like, they're fundraisers, I guess. And he's, okay, let me give you his a tweet. He says, for everyone reaching out and showing support, thank you, I appreciate it truly. But this is the way it should be everywhere, every time. I shouldn't be the guy who did it or said it. We should all be that person. Speak up if you're uncomfortable with it because it makes them uncomfortable as they should be. And then he says, F racism. And then later, um, he says uh, to a gentleman named Michael, uh, well, Michael tweets at him and says, James, I'd like to amplify your act while allowing you to remain somewhat anonymous. If you'd like, could you DM me? He says, hi, Michael, I see that you've organized some kind of, excuse me, some kind of campaign to raise money. And while the gesture is more than appreciated, so many have already shown similar generosity. I would love if any and all proceeds for your campaign would be donated to the Buffalo victims. Well, it's just an all around Jesus, great man, guy. That's a great guy. Uh, so that is wonderful of him. Um, it's been a dark time in America, very dark time. And we need to acknowledge that people like Boat exist to make sure that we don't fall into like this cycle of despair. And hatred, all, all, honestly, right? And yeah. fear. Because again, like I know we already said it, but there are incredibly courageous, wonderful people out there who are fighting for the right things. And we gotta remember that and join them in solidarity, right? I'll tell you the part Fight of the reason, 100% and I love all of that. But part of the reason why we're so animated on the show is because people keep gaslighting us. And is the racism coming from the right wing or the left wing? That's not a question, it's obviously coming from the right wing. It's part of their ideology. So when the mainstream media says, well, I shush, don't criticize Republican voters, don't criticize the right wing, their feelings are super important. You don't even call them ultra MAGA. Don't call, Oh, how dare you, how dare you, right? No, I see it with my own eyes. You see it every day with your own eyes. So we're not gonna deny reality. So we're gonna call it like it is. I'm not gonna do kumbaya with racist right wingers. Now, having said that, it's wonderful to see that there are people putting out positive things in the world. And in, he, in that case, by the way, he didn't do it with hugs or kisses either. He, it, there was a conflict that was created, right? So he stood up when he needed to stand up. But it was just refreshing to finally see somebody stand up for us, especially those of us on the left, because almost none of our politicians ever do it, or any of our so called leaders. So we need rando Uber drivers or Lyft drivers to stand up for us so we can actually have champions on our side. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, so really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.